That's not a good thing. Let me think about that. <laughs> That sort of hits me right in the morning. <laughs> What's up my friends? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's grocery haul. Thank you so much for joining me today. Our grocery total for this week is $136. Now let me tell you a little bit about that because I got $156 worth of groceries here behind me. So I received two referrals from you wonderful people that I love so much. Thank you so much for using my referral code for a Walmart grocery pickup. Now when I went to go put my code in, it said my codes were expired, both of them. So I thought that was kind of odd. So I reached out to Walmart and they took good care of me, gave me a $20 code and I was on my way. And so I got $20 off of this order that you see behind me. So I'm going to share with you guys on my meal plan. But first, if you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jennifer. I'm so happy that you stopped by. We share grocery hauls, meal plans, what's for dinner videos, pregnancy updates. And then also I just did a day in the life video so if you are interested in any of that make sure you click subscribe and click all on the notification bell so you will know every time I upload a video if you're returning thanks for coming back I'm gonna share with you guys my meal plan now guys all right you guys this week Jeff is having a surgery on his knee so I kind of made it a little easier on myself than normal you will see that in just a moment but today is actually Thursday but as you know we normally don't start our grocery or not our grocery. We normally don't start our meal plan until Saturdays. So we're going to start here on Saturday. We're going to make salmon, sweet potatoes, and asparagus. Uh, one of my, one of my last what's for dinner videos, I did the honey garlic chicken in the instant pot and a viewer of mine recommended that I try that same marinade that I put on that chicken on salmon. Now I have a salmon like marinade recipe, but I am all about trying new stuff, so we are going to try that, and I will be sharing that in an upcoming What's for Dinner. Sunday, we are going to do a Sloppy Joe's. Monday, we're going to do grilled chicken, rice, and broccoli. Tuesday, I've got some frozen pizzas we're going to throw in. Wednesday, Jeff is having surgery, so we are going to probably either get something out or... I don't even know right now. I have no idea. <laughs> Thursday, we usually clean out our fridge or do like an every man for, them, for himself night. And then normally Friday, we eat out. So that is our meal plan for this week. Alrighty, and here is my haul for today. Only had two substitutions and nothing really horrible. There were no out of stock items. Now, I couldn't believe that. That was just a miracle. All right, so Jeff went to Ingalls, I think it was yesterday, and bought a loaf of this butter bread, and it was delicious. It reminded me of how delicious it actually was. So, <laughs> I went ahead and got another loaf of that because it sounded good. For our sloppy joes, I picked up brioche buns because we fancy. No, we ain't. <laughs> I got some of these um, candy cookies. Now, they're like chocolate chip with M&Ms. I tried to get these a couple of weeks ago, and they were out of them and didn't substitute them. So, we got them this week. Couldn't believe it. Got some sweet potatoes for a meal or dinner one night and went ahead and got a big bag of just russet potatoes. We were running out of our peanut butter. I normally like to get the bigger um, like jar of this, but they were out on the app, so I just opted for this one. This one's my favorite. It's a great value natural. Needed some salt and pepper, so I went ahead and got this three ounce thing of ground pepper and a big iodized salt here we were running out so we needed that and then i went ahead and got this for our sloppy joes the bold man which i don't know that we'll need two i think just one's going to be enough but you know they were only a dollar piece so why not right and then for the honey garlic marinade i needed some more honey i also needed more soy sauce i typically uh, go for this less sodium jeff wanted this this was his request the butter crisco nonstick spray Wanted some more cherries. Now, I had bought this last week for the pineapple upside down pancakes that we made. And Harrison pretty much ate the whole jar before I was able to. I almost didn't have enough cherries for our pancakes. But we made it work. We made it work. Jeff requested some Hormel chili with no beans. So I went ahead and got three cans of those. And those are the big cans. They're 25 ounces. He also requested this um, Velastic sauerkraut. I bet y'all can't guess what all that's for. That will be going on the hot dog situation on Friday. We were out of our um, pancake syrup, and we really love this log cabin. So I went ahead and got the giant jug. 
We've got two jars of Hershey's Simply Five here for our chocolate milk. I went ahead and got two packs of applesauce this week. The boys really love applesauce, especially Hayden. I don't think that's too bad for them. So I got the mango peach and just the regular um, like original apple. I've got four Chef Boyardee's. I've got two of the Beefaroni and two of the uh, mini ABCs and 123's. Hayden really likes those, and actually I've seen Jeff <laughs> grab one here and there. Got mac and cheese here for Harrison to eat. This was one of the substitutions. I had ordered the Captain Crunch brand of this, um, like Captain Crunch, Crunch Berries, and they subbed the Malta Meal Colossal Crunch, which we've had that before. The only difference that I noticed is this one, the Malto Meal brand, gets soggy faster. So you just got to eat it faster, right? Okay. <laughs> Went ahead and got some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. Somebody I follow made those keto fried pickles in their like little mini waffle iron. And I, I've been doing that. I have found that the pre-shredded cheese does better making those than shredding up a block of cheese and using that. So I got that um, for that little situation. Got some cheddar slices here, mild cheddar slices for sandwiches. Got some more butter because we were running out. And then for sandwich meat this week, I was sitting on the app last night asking Jeff what he wanted for this week as far as sandwich meat goes. And this came across and this is something he really likes. He likes to actually put it in the frying pan and kind of fry it up a little bit before he puts it on his sandwich. So it sounded good, that's what I got. Got one pound of lean ground beef here. That's gonna be for the Sloppy Joes. And then we did have some bacon on hand. I used that yesterday. So I went ahead and got another pack of bacon to make sure we do not run out because that would be bad. We love bacon. Bacon! Y'all know I always got sound effects, sorry. <laughs> got some more of these buttermilk pancakes for the boys because they really like those. And I put this up in the freezer because I did not want it to melt on me while I was getting all this together. But I got one of these um, like containers of the Homestyle Vanilla Ice Cream just for whatever. I got one bag of broccoli florets to throw in the freezer and I think we'll eat that one night this week. And then I saw these, I thought these were really cute and I thought Harrison might like them. I'm trying to venture out a little bit as far as breakfast items go for him. So these are the Ego Mini Cinnamon Toast little thingies or whatever you just, I guess you pop them in the toaster. I don't know, we'll find out. I've got four Diet Pepsis in two liter bottles and I've got three Twist Ups in two liter bottles. Didn't need any Sunny D this week because we still have a giant jug of that. Jeff requested three purified drinking water um, gallons here for the hot dog thing. This is what he uses to, um, to cook the hot dogs in. So, a little trade secret there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I hate it if I just messed something up. I'm sure I didn't, but it's all right. For our frozen pizza situation one night this week, I went ahead and got a Tony's cheese pizza, mama's favorite, a, a rising crust supreme. And for whoever feels like pepperoni, I went ahead and got a rising crust pepperoni. All right, as far as the non-food goes, Jeff added this in. He needed some Ziploc, what are these, twist and lock? These look like they're good for like soup or something. We needed some more Dawn dish detergent for washing dishes and then also getting things out of clothes. I've been giving Hayden these fiber, 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 fiber advanced gummies for kids. So we ran out of those and needed some more of those. And then placards because we can't be running around with stuff in our teeth. Jeff used all my stainless steel cleaner on his little hot dog cart. Cleaning it up a couple of weeks ago and I needed that because Lord have mercy, these appliances are so beautiful when they're clean, but boy, it touch them and this just goes out of, out of you know where. I got Harrison his baby wash here. This is the only thing I can use on him or he breaks out in little eczema patches everywhere. Fun stuff. Jeff added this to the list as well. He needed a shaker bottle. I don't know and what he's using that for, but that was his request. <laughs> we needed some spoons. This was the other substitution we had. We ordered the like clear ones and they gave us the white ones. So we will survive. Went ahead and got two rolls of these split sheet ultra strong paper towels from Walmart. They didn't have the toilet paper I wanted. So we just got to deal with it. And then last but not least, we got a 24 count of Diet Pepsi. 
Alrighty, my friends, that is going to wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a great big old thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys down there, seeing how you, your day and your week is going. It makes my day. I hope everyone has a wonderful week, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.